Hi, Shira7, I'm back. So I put out a video, but I did not upload it. I thought it was too harsh, so I'm gonna pull it back in. And let's talk about mirroring your partner, mirroring your man, mirroring your woman, being a reflection of them, okay? This is how you enter into a relationship. This is how you maintain a relationship and a marriage. And this is what keeps everyone in the relationship equal and happy as far as treatment, okay? So when a, a lot of people will quote memes and things and have no idea what they mean, okay? I've seen some memes that says, you are your partner's reflection. And that's so true. But a lot of people take it in a bad or a negative way. <clears throat> or they take it to a good place. So, I want to take it to an in-between place because that's where you can get the results you really want, okay? For example, if you're having issues or problems dating um, someone who's not calling or texting you back or putting you as a priority, you already know you're not the priority, but oh, I want to be a priority. So you just start doing the exact same thing to them as they do to you. When they do get around to texting you, don't get all excited and like, oh my God, he texts finally after all these years or after all these, you know, hours. Don't get excited. Don't, don't even text back. Okay, do the same thing that he did to you. And then he's going to start feeling the same way you felt okay and when he feels what you felt then he understands that he's not supposed to do that again okay um and if he doesn't get the picture and if he doesn't realize then obviously there are other people and other things that are more important than you so you know mirror your partner's image mirror what they're doing mirror how they treat you mirror you know if they look good keep yourself together you know don't let them have all the glory and shine you know do something nice for yourself as well don't just walk around the house looking homely all the time if you're married and your husband you know looks sharp has haircut you know nice clothing and stuff like that don't let yourself go either ladies okay um <clears throat> so you want to be reflective of them so for example if you're not married and then you're just you know dating and your 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 boyfriend or girlfriend says oh I love you honey you're so sweet you know and they want you to say it back but you're not ready you know what do you do like oh my god they they said they love me but I don't know if I love them yet um well you could say you know what I have very strong emotional bond to you as well you know and be honest if you don't love that person don't mirror fake love back because this is the problem okay a lot of men understand that if they just utter some words oh I love you or I love you too they can get pretty much anything they want from the woman okay but you have to remember ladies men don't always mean when they say they love you they mean they love what you can do for them what you're doing for them they love you because it's gonna get them what they want it's not I love you I'm gonna marry you make you the happiest woman and be by your side to the day you die love it's I love you for now I'm telling you that because I know that's what you want to hear and I'm gonna get what I want so when you tell someone you love them you need to also you know understand that they might not be ready to love you back <clears throat> sorry y'all so if they're not ready to love you back don't tell them if you know you know the signs when they're not ready to love you back you know the signs they don't text they don't pay attention to you you're just you know blah 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 if you feel like they're in love with you and they really can't live without you that's when you say it and preferably let him say it first you know always let the man tell you he loves you first like in real in a real roundabout way not while you're trying to have sex or nothing but when you're not in an intimate setting you know just walking around the park holding hands not when it's around tax season <laughs> you know not when he has nothing to gain okay so if he's gonna tell you oh I love you so much I can't ma imagine my life without you 
blah 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 you know then you know it's real but if you're walking around saying oh i'm so in love with you i love you you're the one for me you know and he's not saying it back you know you have to mirror it your partner's image if he's not getting ready to say I love you and you know that he doesn't feel that way about you don't say it first mm -mm. you wait you wait until he proves it and says it to you first okay and chances are a lot of women are afraid that their men will never tell them they love them so they have to go and do it first but that's that's the wrong way don't do it um, I think I was dating my husband two weeks before he told me he loved me and I, I didn't tell him I loved him um, I don't even think I told him I loved him after he told me he loved me. I was like, oh, you love me already? It only took two weeks. Wow. <laughs> you know, I was just, I was, you know, joking. But he told me he loved me after two weeks of dating me. And we were just driving around the car, you know, not doing anything intimate or anything. You know, it was just, I love you, da-da-da. You know, I love you. <clears throat> I'm like, what? <laughs> So when it comes like that, then you can start falling in love or, you know, mirroring the love and affection that you're getting from this person. OK, but if you got to force it and squeeze it out of somebody and say it first and hope and pray that they're, they feel the same way, you're doing it in the wrong order. They, let them go first. Then you think about how you want to feel about this person. OK, this is where a lot of women mess up. OK, also, like if you're dating and then all, all of a sudden things stop you know being as grand and happy and you know loving as they once were then you also mirror the same image you know if he's pulling away from you you pull away from him if he's not calling you as much don't call him you know if he's not taking you out on dates don't go on dates with him go on dates with other people you know and what I'm saying is mirroring someone's image is showing them who they are and how they're treating you and if they don't like it it's that means they're not doing something right and all all you have to do is say look well i'm just doing what you're doing to me you know i'm only mirroring you you're not asking me out on friday night anymore you're not taking me out you're not um you know putting me as a priority you're not answering my texts i'm not a doormat you know before you came along i was doing great so, you know, you're slacking, I'm going to slack, you know, this is not, I'm not your mom, you know, I'm not going to baby you, I'm not going to hold your hand through the whole thing and tell you, oh, what's wrong, why aren't you responding like you used to, I'm not going to work for you, you're supposed to work for me, baby, okay, that's what you tell them, because it's the truth, if you're dating a man, he's courting you, you're not courting him, okay, a lot of people think dating means being equal paying half to check da, da, da. that's not dating that's going Dutch okay if a man is dating you he's courting you which means he's trying to impress you once you are not impressed anymore you are free to go you are free to go you're like okay well I'm done with you thanks for trying you didn't make the cut adios you know and if they and if they realize oh I made a mistake they're going to start getting back doing the things that they were doing, trying to impress you, trying to trying to win you over. OK, and a lot of men will say, oh, women are so entitled. We don't have to win women over <clears throat> the ones worth having. You do. OK, the women worth having have to be won over. I'm just going to tell you straight up the women that all these men are clamoring over in the media, celebrity women, beautiful women. Women who have, you know, all these things going on for them. They have to be one, okay? Uh, I think Scottie Pippen's wife left him, cheated on him with um, Chance. Uh, not Chance, I'm sorry, sorry. Future. Oh, my God. Uh, Sierra's ex. And Scottie Pippen begged her to come back, bought her, her a $4 million ring, which I wish this ring was. <laughs> Bought her a four million dollar ring and say, please, baby, come back. Okay. Certain type of women know their value and they're not going to compromise it. Okay. And some women, you know, they don't have much value. So they have to find value in themselves in other places. Like, oh, she's a great 
wife. She's a great mother. I can't imagine my life without her. You know, and if you have the combination of all of it, you can call your own shots. Okay? And if you're marrying what your spouse or your significant other is doing, because I'm pretty sure Scottie Pippen probably cheated on her, which is why she cheated on him right in front of the whole world. He knows how it felt. And he understands he forgave. And he said, okay, look, I see you. I did the same thing. I can forgive you. Now you can forgive me. So basically, she mirrored his actions in front of the world and got a $4 million ring, her husband back, and revenge all at the same time. Oh my God. My new idol. Okay, I don't even know her name. I need to go look it up. I forgot. Anyway, <laughs> so ladies, mirror your partner's images if you want a good relationship, okay? Don't overdo for people. Don't always go in, out of the way for people. Don't do too much. Those women that do all that work and doing too much and texting and calling and buying gifts and da 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 they always lose their men to women who don't do shit, okay? I'm just going to say it. I don't curse on my videos. They're always losing their men to women who don't do anything. Why? Because they're a challenge, you know? You can't be overly giving in any type of relationship. You have to mirror your partner. Otherwise, they're going to grow bored of you. They're not going to see themselves in you anymore. They're not going to be growing and they're not going to understand where you're coming from, you know? Because you're too much. When they don't even, they're not even there yet on that level. They're not at the point where they want to buy you, um, you know, a nice trip or a vacation. But you are, oh, honey, let's go on vacation. I'll pay for the tickets. They're not there yet. But you're pushing it on them, you know. Let them come to you. And if they don't come to you, they don't feel that way about you. Okay? A lot of women will try to make, create this man that they want. And that man is not ready to be created. <laughs> okay? So it's important to mirror your partner in the beginning, the middle, and the end, you know. If my husband is, you know, out shopping, he'll call me, hey, you want something from the store? Because I do the same to him, you know. Or if my husband is, you know, bringing home something to eat, you know, from a restaurant or whatever, he'll, he knows what I like, he'll just bring it. Same with me, I do it, you know. Um, we mirror each other and if he slacks off I start slacking off like if he forgets to call me one time say hey you want something to eat and he comes home with something I go I'll see I, I like to punish people because that's the only way you can learn I will I will go and get some good food and bring it home and eat it right in front of his face like two three times after that and best believe he's calling the next time hey you want to bring something yes yeah, okay um, so by mirroring and acting the same as your partner does, whether it's good or bad, teaches them how to treat you. Okay. So this is, this is not really that complicated. It's just, if they mess up, you're allowed to mess up. If they cheat, you go cheat and let them know it. Let them find out. And a lot of women are going to be like, well, it, you're going to get people killed and da, da, da. Well, if you steal with your man after he cheated with you and you don't have the freedom to go cheat on him, then you might as well leave anyway. Okay. For example, if your man is bold and brave enough and not afraid of you in order to go cheat on you, but you're not willing to do the same, you are in a really off balance relationship. Okay. And I know some women, I won't. I like if 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 I were ever cheated on, I would go cheat, but I would never tell him because I always need that upper hand and that guilt to work with, okay? But if you're just bold and like Scottie Pippen's wife and know you can get paid and know you you can do better and upgrade, you know, you can pretty much call your own shots. But if you're trying to keep the peace, get revenge at the same time and mirror your partner, do what you got to do. I don't, I'm like, I'm not for, oh, forgive him. Don't do what he did. Don't stoop at his level. Girl, go and go have your fun too. Okay. If he did it, you can do it. 
obviously the marriage marriage vows are already been broken <laughs> okay or the relationship you know if you're in a relationship with somebody and you found out they cheated on you best believe men most women will go out and cheat behind your back you'll never find out <clears throat> that's just how it is okay um i'm just being honest i'm just being flat out honest i'm not trying to save face look like this perfect person because i don't want to be perfect that's hard work okay i want to be real honest and true and let you know what works okay um i know i have a friend and she had you know she was her she had a long distance relationship but the guy was supposed to be moving um to the state and she found out he cheated on her and uh you know he ended up moving back but he had to come correct he he had to buy her a new car and not just a mini car a luxury car and trips and all that kind of stuff some women will take compensation for cheating you know some women will go out and cheat if the man don't have anything so that's why it's always best to date a man with money or you know date someone that you you know is not going to go crazy on you if they ever found out you did the same thing back to them you know so a lot of women will take compensation you know oh he cheated on me but he bought me this new car and this ring i guess i'll take a stupid butt back you know <laughs> that's why i married him in the first place all the things that he could do for me but you know he betrayed my trust so now he has to earn it back and you know a lot of people say oh you're just a gold digger and you think like a gold digger and blah 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 blah, blah. but in the end you know it's not it's not really about forgiveness and who did this and who did that it's mirroring your partner and showing them who they really are so when they look at you and they say they see disappointment because you cheated on them or something like that or blah 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 they're really looking at themselves because you only mirrored what they did to you so they can't feel bad you know <laughs> and if they do there's something wrong with them and they are the problem okay so I'm not saying go out and start doing all these bad things your partner is doing if you don't agree with them. But if you want to teach them a lesson, do it. If you're totally done with them because you can't take it anymore, break up with them. Leave them. You know, never stay in a relationship that does not benefit you in any way. Okay? If you're losing more than you're gaining in a relationship, leave. I'm just saying. It doesn't make sense to stay and get drained. You know? Always mirror your partner do not go crazy on the on the phone texting texting check facebook da, 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 da. some of these women are obsessive to a point where i understand why some men will not respond to them because sometimes it's ridiculous ladies you got to keep cool you got to play the game you can't be all over the place spreading your feelings everywhere like butter no that's not how it works Okay, those are the ones that get left, cheated on, you know, the ones who take it the worst, you know, emotionally. You got to be strong, strategic, smart, and a reflection of your partner if you want them to be the best partner they can be. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.